You have to have suction. Okay. I mean, it automatically has that. You have to have airflow to have cleaning ability. And, and the demo is always taught the first thing you show is suction. Second thing is airflow. airflow. Third thing was cleaning ability. cleaning ability. Okay. So I did it here this way first. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to move over and we're going to do the exact same thing, only we're going to make the small vacuum cleaner using the filters in line. Okay. And so when you when you push it all together, the bag, which you know they say two filters, I like to say bag nose because it's here we're breathing behind our filter or filter nose, and then of course our two lumps, right? Well, that's what I always tell them. I said one is going to represent your your bag or your Both dump are. tray, and the second one is actually what is being blown back out. You to breathe, so we kind of call the nose. You know what's behind your nose? Yeah. Or lungs? Or are they wet or dry? Wet. I have to have a couple wet ones right here. You know, you know how that goes. But see, when when it's brand new and you put it together, you do suction by sticking the thing to your arm. You do airflow with the uh, harmonica, and then you do cleaning ability by having them hold a little white rag and let them see that it would take it. Correct. Mm -hmm. Then you drop down and you clean that spot. Once it becomes clogged, then you reverse it. How's my cleaning ability? How's my airflow with the harmonica? And then how's my suction? So let me ask you a question then, Jan. Did I lose my cleaning ability because I lost suction, or did I lose it because I lost airflow? Airflow. I did that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then your three to five minutes equal to three to five minutes on a scale of a regular size vacuum cleaner. And can you tell us what you do whenever you completely lose suction because their carpet's too dirty? Well, you got to kind of listen to the machine. Yeah. Okay. But sometimes it's like one second. <laughs> I know what to do, I'm asking, so we can put it on the video. Right. Well, you just hold it here. Mm -hmm. It'll still It'll make still a mark. It'll still leave a mark. Okay. So. Come up here and put it together now. Put one together. The filter. Where you're breathing. In your lungs. Are you still asleep? Would you like to be? <laughs> what I'm going to do is get these out because one is actually going to represent your lung and one is going to represent mine. Because we've already determined our lungs are wet, correct? Yes. And during this time, normally I make small talk because I've already told them what was what. What do you do? Same thing. There, but uh, the only thing I do different than what you're doing right now you is. Can you them while you're hooking it up? Well, I, I, I start at the front and work my way back so that it goes in systematic order. The first thing that we need, of course, is a filter. So we're going to put that right here. Okay, behind the filter is there we breathe. So this is what we're going to call our nose. And then I snap that on there. So, th and then that, so I have the two black ones there first is what I do with the head on it. And then I say, see, now it looks like a miniature vacuum cleaner, correct? We've got all four basic parts. Here's the intake. Here's the filter. We know the filter is also the exhaust, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And of course, the air cleaner is providing the motor. Then that's when I ask, now what's behind the air that we're breathing or what's behind our nose? Mm -hmm. Our lungs, which are moist and wet. And we happen to have a couple wet ones right in here and blah, blah, blah. Then I put that together. It just, to me, that makes more sense to work that way than it does to work backwards. But whatever works, works, as long as you do it. Now I have a question for you. Whenever you're making your mini vac, I saw Sarah Compton used to make a pocket. Do you suggest that or no? Well, a pocket. Well, where you go? You, you do this, and then yeah. What you got to do, see now, that's one of the answers to your question about what if it clogs real quick. If you make a pocket, it doesn't clog as fast. Right. So you you can pretty much tell by scraping the floor okay. at the light show. 
of how dirty something is, correct? Okay. Just curious how you felt on that one. But yeah, I mean, the pocket's uh, always a good idea. Now, see, if I'm in a super clean home, then I don't put the pocket in it. If I'm in a, a dirtier type of home, then I obviously put a pocket in it. Of course, the cleaner homes, they freak out quicker on the smallest amount. <laughs> did it take for this to clog up? Well, how long did it take for this to clog up? A few seconds. A few seconds. Yeah, see, on a scale of a normal vacuum cleaner, that would be equal to just a few minutes. Okay. I always tell them one second equals a minute. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just make sure so, I have right. Basically, this is what you'd find in your bag, which is like your normal hair, some carpet fibers, sand, all that kind of stuff. And this is actually what is going back out in the air. Are you hungry? Who was that? Was that you? Hmm? Was it you? No. Was it you? No. Was it you? Your no. stomach's grumbling. <laughs> Your stomach is protesting. Jan's making me nervous. Sorry. I'm so funny. Stop it, me. You're the one that had the sick household. No, I'm the only one that had you got the sick friend. She, ain't, she don't live with me no more. <laughs> yeah. she. I think she ate something wrong, though, because yesterday she was throwing up and couldn't eat. And today it's, uh... Better. Yeah, but it's, yeah. So, more. Um, in order to keep on cleaning, we actually have to change our filters again to get our suction and airflow going again. What the hell? Is that you? No. I'm hearing it from over here, so I know it's over here. Well, it's one of you two's. I think Ron's hungry. So now we gotta go in again. hey, this is what was trapped in your carpet, this is what we pulled up, the sand, the grit, the carpet fiber, blah, blah, blah. But this is what leaked through the filter back out in the air for you and your family to breathe. Okay. Now, uh, if we're going to continue to clean, Jan, what are we going to have to do? Change, Change our filter. Okay. And how expensive are they? Pretty expensive. I mean, when's the last time you changed the filter on your vacuum? And I just wash my filters. Okay. Now, how often should you wash it? Well, according to this, pretty often. About every three to five minutes? I suppose. Did you get your vacuum cleaner to spend more time cleaning the filters than you did your home? No. No. Okay. So, in this case, we'd have to buy a new filter or a cleaner filter. Okay. And when you clean it, it takes about 24 hours for it to dry, <coughs> and then it molds and mildews. You know, so you can explain that when they say they clean, you know, wash them. 
Okay. See, that's how you handle that. Or you get the money part of as far as them buying them. Okay. Or you know they get there are those guys that will take them out and they'll blow them out with an air compressor. But again, how often are you going to have to do that? And how does that really clean it? Because some of the germs and microbes still cling to it, right? Right. But what I'm saying is, how often is he going to have to take it out there and blow it? Every three to five minutes. Did you buy it to spend more time cleaning the filters than you did your home? Okay. So. We're going to have to set. So those are some of the things you want to talk about. So, I mean, you know, you want to get into the question about if we're going to continue to clean, what are we going to have to do? Either, either change the filter, which costs how much, or we have to clean the filter. Okay, so let's change the filter, then you put it on, then you just did it again, which you just did. Okay, and then you would have reversed the process, the cleaning ability, the airflow, and then the suction, and then you show them that. <laughs> now again, how long did it take Jonathan for that to clog up? Five minutes. Three to five seconds? That's equal to like three to five minutes with your vacuum cleaner. And of course this is what blows back out in the air for you and your family to breathe. Yeah. Now what's the first question? Big question, Jan. That's, this, is a, this is an objection question. How to handle objections called taking away excuses. Now when did you want? The first objection question is on the second pad. What is it? Jan, do you know? I just gave you the first part. When? When did you want to remove this condition from your home? No. No? That's what I always ask first. Okay, what's first? The first question is, is would you lay your head in this? Oh. Uh, See, I do that when I pull a pad from there couch or where it's I would say pull from the couch if they have a poster couch before I pull from the carpet anyway. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And I, I always, if they have an upholstered couch, now if they have leather or if they have a microfiber type of couch, then I would drop down to the floor. But if you run into a house with a poster couch, I always pull right between where the couple sit. Mm -hmm. Or ask them if they lay their head on the armrest and use the and then, armrest. But you want to ask them, hey, would you lay your head in this? That's the main question. Yeah. You're now, right. you have to understand why do we ask that question. Because you want to grow some out. Uh -uh. Would you lay your head in this? No. Well, you're doing it every day, aren't you, when you lay there and watch TV, or however you want to say it. Or I say, yeah, you don't want to lay your head in it, but if you ever lay down and watch TV. There you go. So you're laying your head in it anyway, aren't you? But no, the reason I ask that question, now since they don't want to lay their head in it, what are we going to do to pull it out? we'd have to change the filter again, which lets me move on to the next pull. But the reason I ask that question, can they tell me at the end that the filth don't bother them? Oh. No. That's because why they're I ask Because they're grossing out anyway. Right. I took the light, asked them to breathe it in. I pulled this. I asked them to lay their head in it. See, they can't tell me it doesn't bother them. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the one that I'm always... See, that's what I mean. There are certain questions that eliminate objections. Okay. Now you might get the smart ass at the end that says, well, the first felt don't bother us. Mm -hmm. You have to know how to handle it. Hey, I can certainly understand that, but I'm a little confused. Earlier in my presentation, when I asked you to breathe it in, what you say? When I asked you to lay your head in it, what do you say? So, I mean, it really does bother you, doesn't it? I, now, I'll call them out through questions. Do you ever pick up the pad and go, well, here you go? Now, if they'd say they'd lay their head in it, yeah, I'd say, go ahead. And they're like, no, I'm just kidding. Besides that, my couch, I can't see it. So if I put this pad over it and you can't don't, see it? No, you, you don't say it. You just do it. Okay. So what you would do is, okay, be that stubborn customer. Would you lay your head in? Sure. Go ahead. Uh, I'm just kidding. You're just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What you're saying is you don't see it in your couch, correct, when you're laying on the couch? Yeah, I can't see it there. So. Can't see it there? Okay. Lay your head in it now. No. I mean, you can't see it. But I know it's there. Exactly. And after this, now you know it's in your couch, correct? Yeah. So to get rid of it, what are we going to have to do? Clean it. We're going to have to change the filters again so that we can clean. Yeah. See how it works? Mm -hmm. See, I, you got to have those answers. No. For any little BS that they give. See, and then a lot of times, you asking the questions takes that stuff away from them. 
call people's bluffs. They ain't going to lay their head in it. If they do, hey, thanks for your time. Pack up and leave. You ain't selling it. Because it don't bother them. Um, this next question is the one I always stumble on. It's the $3 a day. No, that's not the next question. So I thought it was on the third pad. No. No, it's on the sixth one. That's on the sixth one. On the fourth pad, you asked the second question. The one that I started with on the The one that pad. she said. When do you want to get rid of this condition? Yesterday, today, or tomorrow? I mean, you never wanted it to begin with, did you? Now, why do, now the reason we ask that question, again, is we're taking away objections. That's why I call it an objection excuse or a question. See, at the end, can they tell me we want to wait? No, because they said they wanted to get rid of it yesterday. I'm kind of confused earlier when I asked you when you wanted to get rid of it. When did you say? Today. Yeah. Then you pull. So what's the real reason you're not going to get rid of it today? Is it just the money? See, and it always lets you get back to money because money is what you got to close. Mm -hmm. It's never that other stuff. It does that it bothers. It doesn't bother us. You know, now we want to wait. See, that's all BS. Mm -hmm. The real reason is always money, and that's why I can always take. If I, I've, not every customer uses those excuses because I don't give them a chance to. Yeah. Because they catch themselves. Well, wait a minute, I can't say that because we already did this. Yeah. You know, I've had some smart customers who tell me a couple things before I can tell them, and I'm very happy about that because. Makes it go faster. Yeah. But yeah, so so the fun. fourth poll, second question. See, because I ask the question every two polls. Okay. Okay. First, lay your head in on the second poll. The fourth poll is when do you want to get rid of it? Yesterday, today, or tomorrow? Okay. So if you want to get rid of it today, what are we going to have to do? We're going to have to put on another filter. See, I'm, I'm blowing up the money. See, because you're looking at 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Right? You're also blowing up the time spent. Mm -hmm. But a, a, a paddle plug, or they're vacuum plugs in three to five minutes. So you're really, in reality, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So if you're going to get rid of it today, what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to keep replacing those filters. Boom, you put on another one. Okay. And then, you, you, you know, again, you got to lay it down, do it again. Now it's number six pad, pull, right? Mm -hmm. Now what's the question? Um, I know it. You want me to say it? We'll see if she can come up with it. I know it. Nope. One season. So if I could show you how to get rid of your fields for less than three dollars a day. It's the right track. That's the right track. We just want to teach you or train you on a, how to ask it in a friendly way, mm -hmm. okay? Which means, hey, if the doctor said your family needs to drink an extra gallon of milk a day to stay healthy, would it make or break you? That's what Bob uses. Now, me personally, I'd say, hey, if I come knocking on your door and I had on the jump suit said, Ron, professional bill terminator, like Arnold, I'll be blocked. <laughs> and I showed you... Yeah. I showed you you could terminate the filth today for less than three dollars a day. Would it make or break you, Jan? Would it make you have all your neighbors' pets for dinner? I mean, it would, would it? See, because I, I like to put humor and have fun, and people love to be entertained, and that's why they'll refer me to other people. But yet, I'm being serious at the same time. Yeah. Okay. So, but that's kind of how you got to go about getting to the money. Okay. Okay. You know, whether, hey, if the doctor said your family had to drink an extra gallon of milk a day to stay healthy, would it make or break you? And then I, that, you know, that's Bob, because Bob's a little bit more serious mm -hmm. in a light way, and it, it works with his personality. If, if I, I think I'm too strong if I go that way, so I throw the comedy in there where people laugh and lighten up, and so I'm more of a comedian, but yet still get my point across. Now, um, after that, I pull... I pull about ten pads with this, but after that, I don't. I can't think of any other questions. No, those are the three that you you, you just do it a couple more times. Uh, and really, what you could do is you pull, you know, your fourth pull, or excuse me, your uh, uh, seventh pull, mm -hmm. which gives you fourteen pads, because seven times two. So you really don't have to pull any more after the three dollar a day because you've got uh, six pulls, which is twelve pads. Mm -hmm. Okay, my question is, is, 
Okay, uh, I might do one more after that, and again go through the uh, suction, airflow, cleaning ability, boom, okay, how's my cleaning ability, how's my airflow, how's my suction, okay, and under normal circumstances, what you would do when you're done cleaning today, what would you do? You would put the vacuum away, right? Mm -hmm. Now the next time, you, and I'd shut it off and act like I'm putting it away, but then the next time you go to clean and you pull it back out to turn it on, and turn it on, how much cleaning am I doing? And you have them hold that rag up and it's not pulling it in. No. See, because that bag's what? Full. Full. Right, and the reason we're not pulling anything in, is it because we don't have the suction or is it because we don't have the airflow? Airflow. Yep. See, so your filter's only good for how long, Jan? Three to five minutes. The first three to five minutes. After that, what are you doing with your time? It's a new exercise out. It's called back aerobics. We're out of market that we could probably get rich, <laughs> right? We could have fun with it. See what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's what I do. See, I keep, I stay a comedian, yeah. uh, and people laugh. They really do. Um, so I, you know, that way I would have seven poles, fourteen pads. And then I would finish it up with one other question, as far as the black pads go. No, uh, that's usually when I go to the power novel and I still hold white pads. No, no, I mean here on the middle. Oh, oh, okay. See, because we haven't showed the lungs yet. Mm -hmm. So now you got to just look. I got seven clogged pads and then I got seven pads where they blew out. There's one main question you got to ask. I'm going to go make a phone call. Okay. I have a good question. It might not be the one you're thinking of, but what is it? Um, now, did you buy your vacuum just to get rid of this dirt, or to get rid of all of this dirt? Because your vacuum's getting rid of this. See now, that. now as soon as you ask the question, stop. Okay, stop. See that's where, you, that's where you overcome. But that's the right question. Did you get the vacuum cleaner just to get rid of this dirt, or did you want to get rid of all of it, Jan? I mean, you did, didn't you? Mm -hmm. After what you've seen here today, is your vacuum cleaner ever going to get rid of it all? No. I mean, it isn't, is it? No. And if your filter don't stop it from getting into the air that you breathe, do you think your nose is going to stop it from getting to your lungs? Well, let's take a look. See how so cool. See how that sets me right up? See, it's just a good flow. I mean, it, but it's something that I've worked out that's been really successful for me, and that's why I don't veer from it. I'll take 8 out of 10 every time. Well, I've always, I do about 10 with the little ones. And then I'll do two or three with the big one just to show them before I show them their long. And then... With the power knobs on? Yeah. Ooh, no. No. That's not the purpose. I mean, power knobs, you're getting it out way too quick. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, I've shown the lungs now just like we went through. Mm-hmm. Both of them? No, you're going to show them the bag type lungs. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look at your watch. And of course, what's the question on that? Not yet. Oh. Do you think this is a healthy or unhealthy condition? So, do you think this is a healthy or an unhealthy condition for you and your family? Unhealthy. That's definitely unhealthy. Yeah. It is, isn't it? <laughs> you know, they were. I know. They were. I know. I I've got in the habit of doing that, but when did, I guess the last couple of weeks I've just you know because I was doing it even on my kids right at home. I mean, right. it was yeah, it's something you have to practice, right? Okay. See now, Jim, what you do is you just kind of lay that down off to the side of the black ones. Well, usually I lay this one like over here in case or, they're or all what, messing with yeah, that. Yeah, whatever. whatever. But, see, now what you have to do is you, see, because if you're going to the power nozzle, I can't do this, so I'm going to do it, okay? I'm going to say I'm going to take and put one more on here. Okay, let's do this one more time. Okay? And I turn this on. Of course, obviously, we have plenty of blood. Does that mean that? Does that mean that? All right, how's my airflow? And then, of course, how's my cleaning ability? All right, so we drop down and we just do a little bit of cleaning again. All right, now how's my cleaning ability? How's my airflow? It's going. Okay, now 
already had to stop and change the filter how many times after they've gone for yeah, see I let them see I would hand it to the customer and say go ahead and clean as much as you want so pretend you're a true customer and like your clean. Okay I turned on and she starts to clean and I turn it off. I'm not done. <laughs> well let me ask you a question Jan if I still had a filter in there would you still be able to clean? No. Because you would have lost what? Airflow. Airflow. Well let's check and see how the airflow is with the rainbow. So we still have clean. So we still have clean. See, so you can clean and clean and clean as much as you want. You don't have to worry about losing airflow. Go ahead and then let them clean. Okay? No, I wasn't doing that. I've never seen that yeah. before. And then when they're done and they hand it back to you, you say, well, how's my cleaning ability? Oh, we still got it. And it's because we still have what? Airflow. Airflow. Okay? See? So, after you did all this cleaning, right, they hand it back to you. So how's my cleaning ability? And then they would hold the rag up. It's good. And I'd say, how's my airflow? So good, correct? See, the only time the rainbow puts clean and for you, Jan, is when it loses its airflow. And the only time it loses its airflow is when you shut it off. Now, did you get your cleaning system to quit working for you right after you turned it on, or did you get it to quit working for you? right after you turn it off. Which one would you rather? Right after I turn it off. You would, wouldn't you? Yeah. See how I'm closing? You see, these are all little closes. Okay? See, the only time the rainbow quits cleaning for you is when it loses its airflow. When does it lose its airflow? When you turn it off. When you turn it off. Now, did you want it to quit working when you turned it on, or did you want it to quit working when you turned it off? When I turned it off. When you did it. Okay? I'm just waiting to get it coming back and forth and 